it is kind of inspired like an woodland fairy earth nymph I'm not really sure what I'm going to call it but yeah it's this really like green tutorial really messy hair I decided to do like braids around the sides of my head they're regular braids I pancaked them a bit and then I tied them with some green elastics and then for here I parted my hair like around here and did a fishtail braid and just pancaked that as well it ends in like a messy bun and the like green gem thingies are like nail accessories and I just glued them on with eyelash glue and last time I tried this on my unicorn makeup tutorial it really worked out well it lasted out the whole day and it was just amazing amazing so if you don't have anything like spirit gum I think that's what you use to glue on stuff with SFX I'm not really sure I don't know um but yeah I used that and it lasted really well I'm not sure if it lasts through sweat though so I don't know so maybe it's not great for a Halloween party wearing these gems or the I don't know these thingies um, but yeah, I would give it a try and see if they fall off or something. Um, but yeah, I, aside from that, um, I hope you like the tutorial. And I'm also going to say really quickly, thank you so much for 100 subscribers, you guys. Thank you so much. I love you all so much. Oh, I just said so much many times today. But yeah, I genuinely love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. I wish I could just give a personal hug to all of you out there that big click to subscribe and that you like my videos and you comment and just thank you so much <laughs> um but yeah without babbling on let's just go ahead and jump into the tutorial hello i was really cold in the morning so um i just kept the robe on and i'm just going to prime my face really quickly and then go straight in with foundation i'll, I'll leave everything linked in the description box below they're the things i always use on my face well now if you want like a foundation routine or something like that for now the updated one please tell me in the comments below and i'll definitely do that then i'll start concealing and i'm using the naked skin urban decay weightless thingy <laughs> concealer and i'm just going to put it basically all over my face and blend it out with the real techniques miracle complexion sponge next i'm going to set my under eyes and my nose with the rimmel match silky loose powder or something like that and I'm going to just set it with my damp sponge and then continue with my brows. I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade 07 Espresso, I believe it is. And I'm just going to fill them in quite lightly um, and just set them with the uh, Maybelline Brow Drama Eye Studio, the transparent one. It's the transparent brow gel. And next, I'm going to move on to the eyes. And for that, I'm going to use the second edition palette and that yellowy shade. Oh, the second edition from the BH Cosmetics, I forgot to say. And I'm going to use like those tiny shades to use them as transition colors so it looks kind of like a yellowy greeny kind of fade. And I'm just going to blend them in my crease with my Royal and Lang Nickel brush. Next, with that green shade um, and the Smashbox brush that came from the Full, Ex Full Exposure palette, I'm just going to place it in my crease very lightly and start blending it with the yellow. That is going to mark where I am actually going to place the rest of the colors. It's kind of like my guide. And I'm just buffing it in really, really well so it, it's very seamless. It's like a really nice fade. And then using this darker green, I'm going to start actually carving out that crease and bringing a lot of the product into my inner corner and dragging it out dramatically. I wanted to wing it out, but I, I don't really know how to explain it. Like angle it really outwards and inwards. Both, both ways but yeah now with an even darker green I'm going to curve it out even more and I'm going to do the same steps I'm going to use my Smashbox blender brush and this one and I'm going to go back and forth between the both of them um, until I get like the desired look and then using the matte Chi Chi palette I'm going to grab my angle brush and just kind of deepen out and carve out a little more that like outer third and as you see like right there a bit winged out and then just drag it in words. Yeah, drag it in words. <laughs> and then blend it with that green um, shade I had, the last dark one I had. And next, I'm, as I said, I'm just going to bring it um, really like into my nose and I'm it's kind of like an angled nose contour. And then I'm just going to buff everything out with the Smashbox brush and blend also the nose contour with that brush. So just buffing everything together and um, now I'm going to do a slight cut crease 
and I'm, I'm going to fade the green into the cut crease so it's not exactly a cut crease it's just more like an, a faded effect and I'm just going to carve out like the inner third until the I, I would say two-thirds of my lid and then using that brush with the dark green I'm just going to start like dragging it inward I would say dragging it with the, uh, the brush and I haven't set the concealer yet I would recommend to actually set it I thought it wouldn't crease that much but apparently it did um, it did a tiny bit so I recommend setting it um, after you're done blending the green and that's how faded it's supposed to look and then I'm just going to place a little bit of that darker green from the Chi Chi palette the little Chi Chi mattes palette and just drag it inward and start blending it next for the yellow swirly eyeliner thing I'm going to grab that yellow color and that's yellow face paint I got it like at any Halloween craft store face paint thing um, there are Halloween tents here where I live and that's where I got my paint and um, now zooming you in a tiny bit, this is how I'm going to actually do the loops, the swirl thingies. I'm going to wing everything out and drag the paint to my inner corner and then start doing the like swirls, loops. I don't know how they're called, <laughs> but yeah, that's how I started doing them. I just curled the very tip. It was quite hard with this kind of like texture of the face paint. I don't know, maybe a gel liner would work better or anything could you could possibly use it for the same thing but yeah that's what I used and then to set the face paint because since it is like an oil based face pa face paint I can't speak today I'm sorry um, I'm going to set it with that yellow shade and then curling my lashes I'm going to apply a little mascara afterward and I'm using the benefit roller lash mascara I still love it it's one of my fave mascaras I really like it. And then using these like fantasy lashes, I'm going to place them and the whole look was based around like this because I wanted it to be like a green, yellow, earth nymph kind of thing. And um, I based them on these lashes and that's how they look. I think they make it look, 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 look a lot prettier and it just pulls it together, I think. But yeah, I just dragged a little bit of the eyeshadow into my lower lash line. Um, and then I uh, I applied mascara and then I'm putting some individual lashes, two individual lashes, they're small, on my outer corner to make that dramatic open eye effect. Well, it's not very dramatic because they're short. But yeah, using the eyelash glue I used for my actual lashes, I'm going to glue on those nail accessories. And yeah, basically. Oh, the last time I did this, as I mentioned in the intro, um, they lasted the whole day. I'm not really sure if they last through sweat, so you will have to test that. But yeah. Next, for the lips, I'm actually going to have concealer lips. <laughs> yeah, fun, right? Um, but yeah, this is like one of the two lip options that I wanted to put in here because you could do like stained lip, that like kind of like faded, pink faded lip. Or you could do this one right here that it's the same concealer lip. And great, you can't see. <laughs> Sorry. And then with the green shadow, the same green, sh green, the same green effect I have on my crease going on, I did it on my lips. But I do have to warn you, I think it's better to actually set this with powder before putting the green color, but yeah. Next on to the face again, I'm going to grab from the Clean Color Color Playlist palette and highlight with that really light pale green shade. I'm going to highlight my cheekbones and my nose and with that dark green shade, I'm just going to contour my face and I'm just going to put it under my cheeks and my forehead. Sorry if you can hear the dogs barking. I'm so sorry. And then I'm just going to drag it down a tiny little bit to make myself look like really skinny and petite, like how I would imagine an earth nymph would look like. Just a tiny bit, not too much because I don't want to look dead or like a skull. But yeah, that's the finished look guys. Thank you so much. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Halloween tutorial. It's a Halloween tutorial slash DIY. I did the headband myself. I don't know if you can tell, but it's really easy to make.